questions 1 through 10 on the 2021 grade 7 Goss math contest. When the five numbers 10,000, 110, 100, and 1,000 are arranged from largest to smallest, the middle number is. Let's arrange them from largest to smallest. It would be 10,000, then 1,000, then 100, then 10, and then 1. The middle number is obviously 100. So number 1, the answer is D. What is the perimeter of the square shown? Well, squares obviously have all sides the same. That's what these little symbols mean. And therefore, if that's 5, this will be 5, this will be 5, and this will be 5. So the perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. And that is 20. So number 2, the answer is A. What value goes in the box to make the equation 5 plus box equals 10 plus 20 true? We have 5 plus something is equal to 10 plus 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. That is equal to 5 plus something. And then if you put that something on the other side, it becomes 25. So the box is equal to 25. Therefore, number 3, the answer is E. The number of hours spent by five students on homework is shown on the graph, which two students, ad adding their individual times together, spent the same amount of time on homework as Dan. Dan spends, according to the graph, six hours. So we have to find two students who, if you add the amount of time each of them spent, equals six hours. And looking at the graph, Bob spent five hours and Grace spent uh, one hour. So 5 plus 1 is indeed equal to 6, and therefore those would be the two students that we are looking for. So number 4, it's Bob and Grace, and that is choice C. Which of the following fractions is closest to 0? I think it would be a little bit easier if we convert it to decimals. 0 0.5, 0 0.125, 0 0.333, 0 0.166 and 0.111. And the one that is closest to 0 is actually the smallest one, and that is this one right here. So number 5, the answer is E. A bag contains a number of candies. The probability of Judith choosing a red candy from this bag is 5 over 6. The total number of candies in the bag could be... Well, it's a probability question, right? And they're saying it's 5 over 6. All probability questions, the bottom number is the total. And the top number is the specific condition. And in our question, the specific condition is that the candy be red. So I'll just put that here in brackets. The total is the total number of candies. So... That's what they're asking. The total number of candies in the bag could be, well, it could be six, right? Perfectly reasonable. So number six, the answer is six, which is choice D. In the graph shown, which of the following statements is true about the coordinates of the point P, X, Y? If you are going in that direction, it's positive. So X is positive. I'm pretty confident about that. If you're going down here below the x-axis while you're on the y-axis, the y is negative. So y is negative. And that's really all they're looking for. And the answer choices, from the answer choices, the one that matches that is B for number 7. The line graph shows the distance that Andrew walked over time. How long did it take Andrew to walk the first two kilometers? Well, the two kilometers is here, so I gotta go across and then see what it shows me on the bottom, and it matches right there. So that looks like one and three quarters. So that would be one hour and 45 minutes. So that is C for number eight.
A list of five numbers repeats to form the pattern five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine dot dot dot. What is the two hundred twenty first number in this pattern? As I hope you can clearly see, five six seven eight nine keeps repeating itself. So five six seven eight nine, five six seven eight nine, and so on, right? So we have to sort of see what happens in the long run. Well, this is a string of five numbers, so it looks to me like every fifth number will always be the nine, because this is the first number, second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, sixth number, seventh number, eighth number, ninth number, tenth number. So every time we get a multiple of five, it's a nine. Similarly, eleventh number, twelfth number, thirteenth number, fourteenth number, fifteenth number. If fifteen is a multiple of five, it's a nine again. So if we keep going all the way to 220, the 220th number will also be a 9. It will be part of that 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 220 is a multiple of 5. That's why I'm confident that it's going to be a 9. Well, they want the 221st number. Well, that's the very beginning of the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pattern again. So the 221st number will be a 5. Number 9, the answer is A. An ant begins its path at A, it travels only right or down, and remains on the line segments shown. The number of current paths from A to C that pass through B is. Let's count. We go here, then we go down, and then we go here, and then we go there. So that's one path. I can also go here and here. That gives me another path. So there's two. Two if I go those two steps. Now, if I had gone these two steps, then I can go there and there. That gives me one path. Or I can go there and there. That would give me another path. So there was two and then another two. So that's a total of four. Number 10, the answer is C.